guess we'll start. It's low key. I'm Raven Mac. How y'all doing? This is Southern Gothic Futures Haiku Slam. Sometimes I like to have little preambles. Sometimes I ain't got nothing in mind. I've been pretty crazy and angry the last few days, but today <laughs> I feel pretty good. I'm feeling all right. I got my my grass is tall shirt. So there's a Leonard Skinner album cover where the dude's wearing my grass is blue shirt. And I've always my whole adult life wanted to have a my grass is tall shirt. And there's probably like little patches. People always got like my grass is blue. Like, you know, bluegrass is like hip now. Like some like cool urban hipsters or like bluegrass music, you know. So I finally made me a my grass is tall shirt last week instead of cutting my grass, which seems to be I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> this is Southern Gothic Futurism. For those of y'all that don't know what that is, it is whatever it needs to be. It fluctuates, flows, ebbs, goes up and down and all around, and it does what it needs to do. But it's based on, like, if you had a Venn diagram of Appalachia and the South, and you kind of got into that Venn diagram where they crossed over, and all the people that lived there, but not the all-white towns, no sundown towns. Places where, like, you had black people living and indigenous people, and in my catch terms, indigenous, you can put a little asterisk and explain that indigenous also means people who have immigrated from South and Central America because those are indigenous to the Americas, so consider them indigenous for our purposes. And you got poor white folks living with them, and usually when poor white folks have to live around people that ain't all white, they tend to be more tolerant and understanding and able to kick into a pickle jar for somebody's funeral a little bit easier than they are when they live amongst only white people. So that is my idea of Southern Gothic Futurism because people always worried about the end times. And I am of the stubborn ass mind that thinks, I don't give a fuck if it's end times. Even if you got, what we got? How many people on earth? Eight billion? So let's say there's eight billion people and 75% of all the people die in a 20 year span. That's still two billion motherfuckers walking around on the planet. That's a lot of people. So even if you get into an end time scenario where it's mass, crazy, horrible things happening, which we might be rolling into in the next 30 or 40 years, somebody got to have the mentality that like, fuck it, I'm gonna keep on going. <laughs> and when you go have that mentality, it's like, so like think about a job you have. And when you hate your job, every minute feels like an hour. Every second feels like a minute. It sucks, man. But when you got a job you love, man, it's just all peaches and cream and you stumble through the day like nothing's going on. So, we got a job together of everything being fucked up. We can't even fix it all. And when we try to fix it, we fix it the wrong way and break it worse. But some of us got to keep going. And amongst those who keep going, it can't just be assholes who's like, I'm prepping and I'm going to make sure everything is this. We know we got to have some chill people trying to survive too that want to have fun at work. So when it's like, damn, everything's fucked up, all our systems are corrupted and failing and people are falling through the cracks, that's work we got to do. So you got to be happy about it. Be like, you know what, y'all? Everything's fucked up, but we're going to have fun, get together. We're going to fix a few things, do what we can, patch whatever cracks we can. Build a little bit of safe, safety for our community wherever we can. But fuck it, we're going to have a good time because we've got to do it. So shit, might as well laugh a little bit. What's going on? So that's what Southern Gothic Futurism is. How that relates to a haiku slam, I got no damn idea. But we do haiku slam. And how it works is, I'm going to call two people up here. Y'all see the flags. I got a purple flag and a green flag. The purple flag going to go first. They're going to read a haiku. Green flag going to read a haiku. I got three judges, y'all got big old flags that are purple and green. I had to buy bigger flags because my old ass can't see them little flags I used to use. Hold up whichever flag you want. Judges, when you judging, go by your heart, go by what feels right, go by what like gives you a better feeling. Use whatever judging criteria feels good to you in your heart, not your brain. Don't use too much brain, use your heart. <laughs> That's important. Two out of three flags means that person wins the round. Whoever loses the round goes first. Whoever wins the round goes second. We repeat it until we hit a certain predetermined threshold for wins that need to be happening. So we're going to have a main slam with the five people that signed up. Oh, yeah, we got cash money. I forgot to tell y'all. We are sponsored by a little thing called Joy Menagerie. So that means I got cash money for competitors and $25 each for my main event competitors who are our returning purple bottle champion who won the bottle last time 
Y'all give it up for Dustin King. Oh, yeah. But coming to challenge for this bottle, who won it, won tournaments multiple times back in our pink Gamecock era. I used to get <laughs> trophies that had a pink Gamecock. It was a pink trophy with a Gamecock on it, and you would win a trophy when you won it. Years ago, Amy Robeson used to stack them trophies <laughs> up, man. So Amy and Dustin will go out in the main event later. I'm going to count all this money and figure out how I'm going to break it down. Hey, Berkeley. Yes, sir. Can you break uh, um, ten into two fives? Yes. Thank you. Is that right? No, wait, wait. Break two tens into two fives. Wait, what? Break two tens into six fives? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how this works, and I don't really feel like talking a whole lot beforehand. Sometimes I talk, sometimes I don't. We're just gonna go ahead and go into it. And I got, I got five names or six names. Yeah, I got six names. All right, so we're gonna go best of five. And I tell you what, we're gonna do a little swapsy wopsy here to start this thing off. And I'm gonna call up on the um, purple side. Y'all give it up for my partner and co-pilot. Dolly Joseph. Coming up on the green side, y'all give it up for the man who showed up here tonight with this fucking thing for me. Y'all yeah, so know how happy I am? Look at this thing. Y'all give it up for Jason. So we're going to go best of five. First one to win three rounds. Y'all feel good about that? I didn't hear you. First one to win three rounds. <laughs> She tunes me out all the time she got to put up with me all the time. I don't have an off button, unfortunately. Or fortunately. They're good or bad? Yes. <laughs> Purple goes first. Dolly, you go first. Dog is 14. Old, good, huge tumor. Give him rabies shot already. Jason. It's been said that you can't make steak from peanut butter, and I guess that's true. <laughs> Judges, Jason goes up one to nothing. Dolly, you down one to nothing, you get to go first. All travel plans contingent on anxious hound. How did I get here? Jason. I need some new boots. These janks look like what cartoons catch when they're fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's up two to nothing. Jason up two to nothing. Dolly down two to nothing, going to three. And for those of you who are following out there, three comes after two. <laughs> so that's going to be it. Lusting after transit vans to transform into wandering home. Jason. In this life of ours, change is inevitable. Growth, intentional. Judges. Dolly fighting back, clawing back. <laughs> Two to one. Jason will go first. So y'all see those this, those y'all first time you see you got to bob and weave through your haiku, pick the good ones, pick the one that matches what somebody else reads. Jason, you're up two to one. You get to go first. All right. My superpower is adaptability. I learned the hard way. I like that one. Indulging retail therapy at barely affordable junk stores. <laughs> Judges. Dolly took that one, two to two. So this is going to decide it. Whoever wins this one moves on deeper into our slam. Jason, you get to go first. Positive thoughts, check. Attitude of gratitude, I'm working on it. <laughs> Dolly. Unfairly angry at friends for society's failings and demise. Mm. Judges. And Jason took it. So Jason wins three to two. Y'all give it up for Dolly. One thing I forgot to tell y'all, because some of y'all are new to this, um, if you've been to poetry readings and things, sometimes they can be quiet. This ain't that type of thing, man. Like, I am not a quiet person, and this is not a quiet environment, so show your enjoyment however you want. Make noise. Don't make noise. Don't make noise on purpose just because you think, well, you said make noise. Don't do that. Make real <laughs> noise. Be authentic. So whatever feels authentic, go ahead and do it. Coming up on the purple side, daring, daring as champion, as bottle champion, to try and to run through the slam as well, 
<clears throat> Y'all give it up for Dustin King. Yeah. And coming up on the green side, a new name I've never seen before. Y'all give it up for A. Logan Hill. We met like three or four years ago at the spot on uh, Main, the yoga studio. But that's the only one I've heard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, I good to see you. for you right here. Oh, mm -hmm. sweet. You gonna read it or you... <laughs> I have to wait for Dustin. Okay, yeah. Dustin goes first. Going up. Oh, let me reset the scoreboard. Y'all like my scoreboard? Ain't that nice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Dustin gets to go first. Now he's champion, but judges don't that don't mean nothing. Each round is its own round. I'm a hugger, said the human I avoided for the rest of the night. Do <laughs> <laughs> I what, call you Logan or Hey Logan or what? You call me Logan, yeah. Right. And I haven't cut my grass in a few weeks, but I did yesterday. No, that's okay. We got to at some point. Logan. Lawnmower in the yard. Young is thyself in vision, cutting what still grows. Judges. All right, Dustin goes up one to nothing. Logan, you down one to nothing, you get to go first. I like seeing people's styles too, like with different cards and stuff. And yours are, is that your handwriting? What is that? Oh, these are all personally typed. I'm Whoa. selling each for $5. That's, that's crazy. Nice if you want. You type them up, that's nice. All right, Logan, you get to go first. Fame for what stands as flamingos standing upright, purple marsh like dark. Dust. Now in our 40s, trading therapist num numbers to get let down easy. <laughs> Judges. Dustin goes up two to nothing. <laughs> two to nothing, Logan. This to you, bro. I can't wait. <laughs> You might not. Don't be like that. Yeah, man. I mean, we're a friendly competition, but you got to have, man, come with it. Walked all day to find Venus fly traps by the swamp, but got lost swimming. Dust. They thought we were crying, but our eyes were watering from yawning. Judges. <laughs> Logan took that one, battling back. Two to one. Dustin is up. Dustin, you get to go first. I'd go in public, but people scratch their genitalia, touch handrails. <laughs> <laughs> Logan? The moon has gone red, waiting for it to turn blue. You sit a whole month. Judges. Logan took that one two to two, so we down to the final round, down to the organic compound, getting it down, breaking it down like dirt brown ground, know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dustin two to two. Everything believed in is human creation, as if that lessens it. Logan. Leaf hopping like a frog across the dark pavement, warming its belly. Judges. And Dustin took it, y'all. So Dustin advances. Could y'all give it up for my man, Logan? That was good stuff, man. And Logan, you know how too. So we'll have a battle royal with people who have already been eliminated right. to have extra haiku can come back. I lost, but I lost to the champion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and everybody here is a champion, but then that also diminishes the point of the champion. <laughs> so, I mean, everybody, well, whatever. Somebody got to lose. <laughs> uh, let me write that down. Okay, yes, uh huh, carry the three. Coming up on the purple side, this person was actually in that 2019 Tournament of Death Matches and is a hilarious ass fool. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Trisha McDaniel. <laughs> Coming up on the green side, in a best of five with Trisha, is going to be one of my favorite people. It's just a beautiful, beautiful person that I think about every day. Y'all give it up for me. <laughs> All right, Trisha, you get to go first. All right. That's the five, the one to three. My bad. I didn't mean to take you out of your five. That's okay. Jason me. found this, which was early pandemic haiku, and some of them are pretty good. Oh, um, nice. <laughs> Spent today crying, 
Some Good Friday, huh, Jesus? Wish <laughs> I had a cave. <laughs> Apocalypse is always on the horizon. You still got to live. That's one for Trisha. Up one to nothing, going to three. Raven gets to go first. Maintain and sameness takes a far greater effort than embracing change. Should I lose respect when I see someone pushing a crosswalk button? <laughs> you look at me when you say that. <laughs> All right, I took that one one-to-one. One. You get to go first, Trisha. Tie it up one-to-one. One. Let's circle back. Okay, crosswalk buttons are bullshit. <laughs> Total mind control. <laughs> Back the blue bikers cosplaying as outlaws on a Saturday cruise. Trisha took that one up two to one. I'm down two to one, going to three. I could get eliminated at my own event, which is good because it ain't my event, it's all our event. <laughs> Summer, uh, how do you pronounce this word? Cicadas. cicadas. Okay. Right. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Summer cicadas, crescendos, intensify the humidity. He was trying to throw me off, wasn't he? <laughs> mm. <laughs> that was someone's job. To design a fake button <laughs> for our impatience. <laughs> and Trisha took it, y'all. <laughs> in the final. In the final. I mean, you got left, Trisha. I don't know. <laughs> There's we'll various. See. We'll see you out of whoever has missed you has left. We'll I don't have any more about crosswalks. It's the the rule of three. <laughs> Couple things I ain't tell y'all. One, we're gonna have a battle roll. Two, also I started this thing at the last one in Charlottesville. I make haiku spikes. I carve haiku in the railroad spikes. This is not one with a haiku, but um I got a web page. I'm trying to be not serious about my art, but usually what happens is I organize it, and then I get mad, and I destroy everything I organize. <laughs> so this time, what I'm trying to do is organize it, and even when I get mad at it, I'm going to leave the organization online on my website. So that's the plan. But some of these are too fucked up. I can't carve because it eats up the drill bits. But I'm bringing one of these that's already painted to every event that I'm going to give. This is the host choice. For whoever best exemplifies the philosophical spirit of Southern Gothic futurism. So that's coming later tonight. Okay. All right, coming back up on the purple side. Best of five again, trying to make it into the final against Trisha. Y'all give it up for Jason. And coming back up on the green side, trying to continue their dual run through the main slam and a potential death match later tonight. Y'all give it up for Dustin. <laughs> Dustin is the only thing standing in between a final that potentially creates conflict in a household. <laughs> Jason, you get, my bad one. you get to go first. <laughs> Finding escape routes is second nature to me. Won't catch me slipping. <laughs> Dustin? I was a boss once. I suffered Stockholm Syndrome and Survivor's Guilt. Judges. <laughs> That's one for Jason, up one to nothing. Dustin, you down one to nothing. You get to go first. The Chronicle of Bosses is written in emails, corporate entrails. Oh, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I am not normal. This has been well established. Just ask him. Judges. That one goes to Dustin. One to one. Bobbing and weaving our way through another good battle. Only person that didn't make it to the final showdown was me. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, you get to go first. Fighting addiction when addiction's in your blood is no easy task. Word the fuck up. <laughs> 
Dustin. Emailers, you devoted court historians, you, your boss wants to shake your hand. <laughs> Judges. And that one goes to Dustin, up two to one. Jason, you get to go first. Life is like whose land? Everything is made up and the points don't matter. <laughs> Dustin. Tell your bosses your dreams as still as the tongues of dead bosses. <laughs> Judges. <laughs> And Dustin took it, y'all. Dustin advances to the final. Three to one. Now give it up to Jason. And I tell you what we will do, so that we can see how many Dustin has left for the Haiku Slam final. We're gonna go ahead and do the purple bottle match right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset this to zero. But I'm going to flip over the other one because we're going to 10. Best of 19. Haiku death match is 19. You got the title, bottle. These, this was another piece of art I used to do. I stopped doing poetry bottles because I just ain't been feeling it. I got a whole bunch of bottles by my house. But I find all these bottles. Nelson County, Virginia, Schuyler, where I live, used to have his best days was 100 years ago. Like before the depression, the old depression, not the recent depression, but the old one they talked about in little school. There's all kinds of beautiful litter in the woods, man. So I find all these bottles and clean them up and paint them up, and I used to put poems on it. And this is not a poem bottle. This is a Haiku Slam Championship bottle. This is a big old two liter glass bottle, boy. I like these things. They're everywhere in the woods, but I ain't gonna tell you where, because y'all be coming and getting all the bottles. I want to get one day. <laughs> but we have an orange bottle champion, who is me who Dustin almost won in his first night competing in one of these. But he came back last month and beat Harley Saxon, who had held the purple bottle for over a year. And Dustin now carries the purple bottle, but tonight he is going to attempt to make his first defense of the bottle. So coming up on the purple side, fittingly, for the purple bottle champion is our defending champion, Dustin King. <laughs> Coming up on the challenger side, I am going to just tell y'all, how many of y'all do Instagram? There is an Instagram account called AR804. 804, the area code we live in, AR's her initials. This is a wonderful photographer. And the great thing I love about Amy is when I first met her, I'm not going to say the full circumstances, but we were both very different people back then. And Amy would come to these things and it was a creative outlet, and she shined, and she shined, and she shined. And the funny thing is, at the time, you would have thought, well, this is just a chance to do something. But actually, she was shining like she actually shines all the time in those opportunities. And thankfully, in the time since then, she has been doing nothing but unlocking more shine. It's a wonderful photographer and an artist that I dearly love. Y'all give it up for Amy Rose. <laughs> Actually, she just did some prints of some of her photography that I supported and bought, and I was very excited. I told her, don't mail them, just bring them to me. Because I, One, I know you lose money when you're mailing things, and two, the worst thing that happens for me when I sell art is when I got to mail stuff, because my ass does not get to the post office. <laughs> it's so hard. They it like is. sit stamped. They're like, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, it's like you, need, like you need a manager, somebody who could like take care of those tasks and like help <laughs> Sorry, I just tried to piss off my girlfriend. <laughs> Alright, best of 19. So they're going to bob and weave deep through the stack. They're going to flex three or four different poetry styles. <laughs> Dustin, you get to go first. War, climate change, what really signals the apocalypse? Pickleball. Amy. Your labels stay real, so you can stay fake, playboy. Keep it in the yard. Judges. <laughs> That's one for Amy, up one to nothing. Dustin, you get to go first. A time came we couldn't distinguish between God and dog, dog and spouse. Ooh, Amy. Hot salt recollects smelling flowers on TV, loving girls on film. Judges. Amy took that one, up two to nothing. Y'all ever had to pull up Poison Ivy? 
and it's like <laughs> strings. That's one thing I like about some of the good haiku, and both of those last ones were like that, where like when your brain starts pulling at it, like more stuff starts coming out of it, and you're like, damn, y'all did that? So I like that. <laughs> Dusting you down to nothing. A time came we couldn't distinguish sex and laughter, grief or physical pain. Pain. Rich men invest in erection resurrection. <laughs> Jesus Christ, amen. Judges. <laughs> All right, Dustin took that one, two to one, coming back. I guess y'all like erectile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, you get to go first, up two to one. Mail me soft, warm days. Scream silence down our hallways. Just always come home. Dustin. All the middles and peripheries were of one and infinite mind. Judges. <laughs> Amy took that one, three to one. We only up to three to one. This is a good battle. It's some good haiku being thrown out. I enjoy this stuff. And I should just shut up and not take a I should need to go first. After rolling blackouts, downed cell towers, we howled the Tonio moon. Amy. Fell into love with the bone collector man. Made my spine his bed. Judges. Damn, that was a good combo. I'm glad I ain't taking on y'all. Y'all coming <laughs> with it, boy. Woo! Four to one, Dustin. You down, but you kicking ass. You get to go first. We awoke to morning glories azure, wide-eyed, unwinking. Amy? Sometimes it's ice cream. Sometimes it's a pink pipe dream. Eat it with a spoon. Judges. Dustin took that one, coming back, four to two. Amy, you get to go first, up four to two. Watermelon size for the summer we locked up, ten sticky fingers. Dustin. The crepe myrtles, pink pom-poms cheerleaded us on, browning mid-shake. Judges. Amy took that one, five to two. Motherfucking poetry happening tonight. Boy, <laughs> Dustin, you get to go first, down five to two. Crepe myrtle blooms purple, popped like popcorn for a movie I sleep through. Amy. I know half stepping. I came up with Eric B. and also Rakim. Mm -hmm. Judges. Dustin took that one, five to three. Amy, you get to go first, up five to three. Now we're digging deeper into the stack. Kissing in color, moving in stereo plays, you're a fever dream. What do weeds gobble? What do grubs chew in the dark, sweetly decomposing? Judges. Amy took it up six to three. Dustin, you get to go first. The dead found us in the mist. We asked, do we go on? The answer, we don't. Amy. Heard you're still out there, giving it the old soft shoe the old glory days judges <laughs> dustin took that one amy's up six to four lost that round but before we go on i gotta say something because that haiku made me think of something i'm a 50 year old man i have to push myself all the time and i love these events for young people coming in and causing me to rethink and challenge myself what the hell is wrong with people they get older and all they think about is 20 years ago. What the hell? You're still alive. You still got a chance to do things and grow and enjoy and explore and learn. Why are you getting into that rear view mirror mode where you like back in the day? Nah, fuck that. All right. Sorry. Had a little, had a little, little diatribe. Here for it. <laughs> Six to four, you are up, Amy. You get to go first. Going to ten. Imaginations of yellow as a rib cage, as a hand held tight. Dustin. If the dead are no longer hungry, why do we feed them the living? Judges. Dustin took that one, six to five. We got a battle going on. <laughs> Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> you get to go first. As a narrator, wholly unreliable. There are no heroes. Dustin. The best things in life are acquired tastes. Go ahead, eat our heart out. Judges. Amy took that one up seven to five. 
Dustin, you get to go first. Do-goodery and degradery, skullduggery and buggery. Hmm. <laughs> Liza Minnelli once owned this berry plant stand. Forty-two dollars. <laughs> Dustin took that one seven to six. Amy, get to go first. Shoegazer sneaker, milk toast stargazer speaker, soft boy hand holder. Dustin. New York called. I cut the lights, fell into a crouch. Still, she taps on the window. Judges. Amy, up eight to six. Dustin, you get to go first. New Orleans mold creeps up from the basement like stratospheres, like my many moods. Amy. Don't let the cat out. <laughs> Y'all come on in. Don't be shy. Thank you. We're just in the middle of a haiku slam. Ah. <laughs> a gossamer sheet. Film is summer sweat memory. Lemon tart candy. Judges. Y'all need a repeat? Yeah. Yes. You want to do that one again, Dustin? What did I do? Oh, New Orleans mold creeps up from the basement like stratospheres, like my many moods. Amy. A gossamer sheet. Film is summer sweat memory. Lemon tart candy. Judges. Dustin took that one. Eight to seven. Amy's up eight to seven. And we had two people come in who now will awkwardly stand in the back and be like, oh, we ain't interrupting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, you get to go first. Up eight to seven. Rich, straight, old, white men, devils advocate for you. You've never been prey. Dustin. Buenos Aires passed through this weekend, tango dog shit across the carpet. <laughs> Judges. Amy took that one, nine to seven. We go into ten, so we right at the door. So before we go into the next round, we're going to do a nature boy check. Most of y'all know what that is. Some of y'all don't. What a nature boy check is in Southern Gothic Futurism. We woo like Ric Flair, the nature boy. I'm going to count to three and you're going to woo. But while I'm counting the three on the one, on the two, and the three part, you're going to breathe in. Breathe in through your nose, down through your chest, through your lungs, where all your tension and all the stress and all the shit is. Down into your stomach, turn it around, all up in your gut intuition. And when I get to three, you're going to blow it out your mouth with a big old fat woo to just let it all out. Whether it's good, bad, or all of the above, that's what we're going to do. Nature Boy, check. One, two, three. Woo! Woo! All right, Dustin, you down nine to seven, going to ten. Purple bottle on the line. You get to go first. Wait, wait. So this is the... If I lose this one, I lose? If you lose this one, you lose. <laughs> Back against the wall. Paris passed through last week, splattered cum and champagne up the bedroom wall. Amy. Number two for life, number one with a bullet. I sure wish you would. Judges. That one goes to Dustin, nine to eight. Creeping closer. Amy, you get to go first. here for centuries, so I'm damned to endure the dust. Judges. Oh, and Amy took it, y'all. And that is the winner, y'all. Yes. Amy took it. Y'all get a picture of Dustin and Amy in the scoreboard and me, and, and y'all tag me. I'm vain, y'all. Tag me. Y'all give it up. So, for defending in the main event, we got $25 from Joy Menagerie, which is a Charlottesville based nonprofit. Joy Menagerie, $25 for Dustin for main eventing this shit. And $25 to Amy for main eventing it. Thank you. And, let me go over here, dig around, shake up my little pen. 
each other's Patreons. Okay. I have a Patreon. Dolly has a Patreon. We support each other's Patreons. Patreons is where you just contributing money to an artist for what they do. Sometimes you get stuff for it. Sometimes you just contributing to them just being who they are. I am pretty damn <laughs> full of failure demons and imposter syndrome, so I feel obligated to create a lot for my Patreon because if I don't, I'm like, everybody hates me and they're going to stop. <laughs> so like, I do it all the time obsessively. But y'all check it out. Follow Amy. Look up me, Dirt Guy Raven Matt. Dustin, how many you think you got you think you got nine left? I can pull some up, man. Battle roll first. Nope. Seven? We're gonna do the battle roll first. So you tell me how many you got for the final with Trisha. The battle roll is everybody who has a haiku who still wants a shot at winning ten dollars, come up here for the battle roll. And bragging rights. And bragging rights. I'm in it. Who else is in it? Who's gonna join this battle roll? That's right. Trisha coming up in here. Let's we'll see. Dolly, Trisha, Raven, Jason. I know you got more haiku. Logan, you got more haiku? Yeah, I do. Come on up, man. Jason, Logan. Who else? Who else got some haiku for this? Anybody got one they wrote in their brain while they were sitting here? All right, good. Sit there, then. Don't get up. Sit there. All right, so the battle world works like this. We call up two people. They read a haiku. Whoever loses goes and sits down. We do it till one person is left. Coming up on the purple side, Dolly. Green side, Trisha. Ooh. Dolly, you get to go first. There is a store named Nothing But Pink in Carytown. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Soft boiled egg, oozy. Crusted with salt and pepper, making others gag. <laughs> <laughs> So Dolly took it and moves on. Trisha, thank you. You can prepare for the final now. Coming up on the purple side, Raven. Coming up on the green side, Jason. No, I'm, I'm next, man. You be after this. Never felt so lost in wilderness as I did amidst skyscrapers. It's really not hard. Just mind your goddamn business. You'll be just fine. <laughs> so just, Jason took that one, so I can sit down. Metaphorically. Metaphorically. Coming up on the purple side, Logan. On the green side, Dolly. I go first. <laughs> All right, Alston. Dingle Dodies on Benzedrine stand before God, smiling at Golden Gates. Dolly. Asshole landlord in North Carolina doesn't care I'm Seville famous. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly took that one. Y'all give it up for Logan on his debut tonight. <laughs> Purple side, Jason. Green side, Dolly. This is it. Whoever wins gets $10. <laughs> yeah. That was the last battle roll, too? No. no the, Earlier tonight. Yeah. Earlier tonight this happened? Yeah. You, you were, were here. here. You were right there. We I were, missed it. We were on different sides. Where was I? Hard to know. I know, man. Lost in my own damn fog. Jason? Capitalism is a fucking waste of life, and I ain't with it. <laughs> Dolly. Grief sick. Wishing to feel mom's cool, soft, strong hand against my forehead. Mm -hmm. Judges. And that one goes to Jason. So Jason wins. Would y'all give it up for Dolly? That was a good night, too. <laughs> $10 for winning the battle roll 
And before you go anywhere, I can tell you right now, since you brought a pile of old car parts in here to make me something, <laughs> went in the host choice curvy ass haiku spike. <laughs> and it is, this is a blue and yellow. I think about the colors. I paint these things so hard. Like y'all get them and think like y'all see them. Y'all just like, well, it's like purple and orange. I'm sitting in my yard. <laughs> How do I feel today? Do I feel yep. purple or orange? Or pink? Very, yes. And then I go into the shed and I'm like, well, I definitely feel silver. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> this is going to go to Jason tonight, y'all. All right. <laughs> All that's left is our main event. Well, not the main event, the final of the haiku stand. Damn, man, I'm all fucked up tonight. Here, let's yarify the space. A little bit of yarrow in the air. I don't know how many of y'all deal with like herbal tinctures and stuff, but I live by the yarrow. Like, it helps calm me down and clear my forehead up. All right, so now we're going to the final of the haiku slam. How many of you think you got left there, Dustin? I got six. Six? <laughs> So we go best of five. You go best of five, Trisha. Come on up, best of five. <clears throat> we ain't gonna make. We ain't gonna make Dustin go all the way down. You on the purple side? My bad. I wasn't clear, was I? <laughs> purple side, Trisha. Green side, Dustin. Dustin got six left. We ain't gonna make him go best of seven. But see, this is the fun when you come to these things. You bring a whole stack. Like I had a stack of like fifty. Of course, I lost. Man, I had to read with like seven of them. But like you bring a whole stack, you can pick through and pick your best ones. And you can reply to people when they say something. Be like, oh shit, I got one right here for that. Like <laughs> come at them like that. So y'all keep that in mind for next month. Trisha, you get to go first. First one to win three. Mm -hmm. Try to be discreet. White lady and a Prius can't be high as fuck. <laughs> Dustin, you shouldn't trust Grandma. She knows too much, and she is batshit crazy. <laughs> Judges, that's one for Trish. Up one to nothing. Dustin, you get to go first. We could save us, but my casserole escaped, and my cat's in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha. Amending gender at Vital Records Office makes it bona fide. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin took that one. I definitely like that haiku though. <laughs> one to one, going to three. Trisha, you get to go first. Hmm. Ten minute warning. Very last minute is now nine minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> Mothman screeching my moon song eyeing the night portal. Judges. Mm -hmm. Dustin took that one, two to one. I'm going to finish this, but I got to tell y'all a Mothman story after this. <laughs> Trisha, you get to go first. Down two to one, we're going to three. This could be it. Luxury condos built right by Greyhound Station for easy exits. <laughs> Uh, my brain's runoff collects around the clogged city grate and down the drain. Judges. And that goes to Trisha, two to two. Whoever wins this one is going to win the haiku slam tonight. Dustin, you get to go first. Wax drips on altar, acolytes make out in the balcony, pilfer the collection plate. Trisha. Trisha's looking. Being in the shit is just as bad as it sounds. I need a shower. <laughs> and that's gonna go to Trisha, y'all. Y'all give it up for Trisha. But look, hold up there. Finishing second in the haiku slam, you get fifteen dollars on top of the twenty-five. You got paid tonight, baby. And you won, so you get twenty-five. Woohoo! That's because Joy Menagerie is a nonprofit that supports us sponsoring these $100 every event to give people money for being creative, doing something Thank performatively. You, That's what we're about. Building Thank joy. You. That's what it's about. So I want to give it up to both of y'all. Before I tell y'all this Mothman story, I want to let y'all know I got a table back there with some books and some zines and some buttons, and y'all can support me that way if you want. You ain't got to, though. You ain't got to do nothing. I don't give a fuck if you support me or not. I'd like you to, but I don't give a damn if you don't. The Mothman story. 
So my parents turned 17 a week before I was born. And at one point I was looking up all the crypto stuff and like the Mothman, New Jersey Devil, there's all these things that look very similar spread throughout the Mid-Atlantic region. Now my parents, my dad told me this story first and then I confirmed it with my mom. My dad had a station wagon, hot rod station wagon that he would drive and he was taking my mom out and they was like, you know, you know, they was teenagers. <laughs> so they was in the back of the station wagon doing their thing, you know, and I guess from the way they described it, my dad must have been on top because my mom was looking up and she screamed because there was something outside the car. And my dad looked up and all he saw was this black shadow. And then he jumped up and got into the front of the car and he told me, and I can hear his voice saying this because he told me plain as day, he said, Raven, it was a fucking seven foot tall bat monster and it walked around the car like this. And when I got into the front, I was fumbling for the keys, buck ass naked. And it looked over right through the windshield at me. And he mm -hmm. said it scared the shit out of him. And he started the car and backed it up in reverse and took off and they never looked back. My mom was screaming. But here's the thing. They were 16 when that happened. Six days after my mom turned 17, I was born with the psychic energy of the Mothman Bat <laughs> I got the psychic energy of the Bat Monster and the Mothman in me. That's why I'm so fucked up, y'all. That's also why I feel so comfortable in the hills of Western Virginia and in West Virginia, because I'm wild and wonderful like that shit. So that's my Mothman story. And that's actually true, because like when my dad told me that, I was like 15 when he told me, I was like, yeah, whatever, Pops. And then I went and I said, Mom, did y'all ever see like some bat monster? And she was like, oh my God, yes. It was the scariest moment of my life. And I was like, what, for real? He ain't just talking shit. And she was like, no, no, not at all. Like, oh my So God. they saw the bat monster, but you know, now my dad's dead and I don't talk to my mom. So you can only hear about the bat monster through me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how we do this. Thank you, everybody who came out. I am Dirt Pod Raven Mac. You can find me on various social media forms for now, even though I may disappear at any moment. But I got my RavenMac.com website fixed. So you can go there and you can see all the haiku slams, all the schedule of them. You can see all my haiku spikes. You can see it all right there. It's just one website. Because I believe that social media is starting to fracture apart and we eventually will go back to everybody having their own fucked up website. And that is what I hope for. Amy, I got a Timberland box with some old Trader Joe's bags that you can put the bottle in. We will be back next month, and I can't remember the date, but ravenmac.com slash will tell you what it is. We will do it here again, and we do them in Charlottesville at the T-Bazaar, and if y'all know people that would like something like this fucked up event at their place of business or not business or in their backyard, y'all reach out to me because I just like doing this for community and people meeting each other and sharing their voices. And now I'm just talking and y'all looking at September me. That makes 21. me feel weird. What? <laughs> September 21st is the next time we coming back here. 921. Never forget. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank you. You looked it up for me. <laughs> I hope you will still keep coming back, man. I, I, I might miss the next one. Okay. I'll be back after that. You okay. Know. And this, this, I got this man marked as a future hot prospect, man. I can't work on it.